Hi, my name is Rafa and today I will be discussing the ethical issues a business may face that are linked to legal factors. Maintaining high ethical standards and complying with laws and regulations are important for all businesses and on a global scale there has been an increasing demand in incorporating the fundamentals of corporate social responsibility within business cultures, especially for businesses that consider expanding globally. The concept of CSR is generally understood to mean that corporations have a degree of responsibility not only for economic consequences of their activities, but also for the social and environmental implications. The meaning and value of CSR may differ in various contexts, especially in different countries, as it would depend on local factors, including the legal framework. The Kingdom of Thailand holds a civil law system that acknowledges all laws to be embodied in statutes or codes declared by the government. All trials and adjudication of cases must be carried out in accordance with not just the laws, but also in the name of the king. The United States of America, on the other hand, hold a common law legal system in a federal system of government where laws are made in federal, state and local levels in all 50 states. The main ongoing ethical issue that Thailand has been facing is their fight for human rights. For the past hundred years, the history of Thailand has been a power struggle between unsubmissive masses and the elite few. But a new wave began in February this year after a popular opposition political party by the name of the Future Forward Party was ordered to dissolve. It was a party led by the charismatic Mr Thanathon Drangrunkit that was critical of the country's political landscape designed by the current 2017 constitution. The order from the Constitutional Court followed elections in March last year, the first year since the military seized power in 2014, and the first chance to vote for a number of millennials and first-time voters. It was advocated as an opportunity for change after years of military ruling. The Future Forward Party campaign addressed the high inequality rate Thailand holds due to the government's leniency towards wealthy families who monopolise many sectors of their market. They created a significant amount of wealth without having to create innovation that served the society. It was believed that they would accumulate their wealth through concessions with the government or by lobbying the government to keep laws that keep the monopolies intact. If it meant that they would have to support military regimes, they could afford to do so. So long as they were promised, nothing would happen to them. This is also a reasoning behind why laws are so harsh on foreign companies wishing to expand in Thailand. When it comes to the intent to operate a business as a foreigner in Thailand, under the Foreign Business Act, the FBA, foreign companies must be granted a foreign business license, FBL, to carry out business activities in Thailand. The requirements to successfully apply for an FBL are harsh and typically out of reach. The licensing procedure can take up to 12 months and the outcome is uncertain as the criteria is quite broad, ranging from good morals, beneficial to the economy or in benefit to technology transfer research and development. Thailand, my country, is not a democracy. Coup d'etat is normal. The latest coup was in 2014 when General Bayut Chan Ocha, the current Prime Minister, staged a coup. Since then, the junta has cracked down on political opposition, suppressed free speech and human rights, taken control of large swaths of the media, brutally repressed all forms of dissent, and wrecked the economy for the benefit of the few. Those who stood in its way were thrown in jail or forced into exile. The main ongoing ethical issue that the US has been facing is the result of the upcoming 2020 presidential election. With a country in the midst of a recession and trying to fight an ongoing pandemic, there are stark differences in how registered voters who support either party view the importance of issues such as the economy and foreign policy. So far, within a four-year presidential term, Donald Trump has dismantled over 10 treaties with international institutions, weakening alliances and creating uncertainty to the future of America's economy in trade investments. One particular alliance that the US had dropped out of is the Trans-Pacific Partnership, where it was predicted that if they continued to keep this partnership, the US would have represented over 40% of the world's GDP, which would have benefited them in their ongoing political agenda against China. In traditional precedents, Australia has always looked to construct common basises with the US, especially during international crises. 
The COVID-19 pandemic, however, has proved different, with Australia's early success in addressing the pandemic and experiencing low rates of death in comparison with the US, who are still facing huge tolls of both cases and deaths. In reporting of public attitudes by the Lowy Institute, two-thirds of those surveyed believe that the US-Australia alliance has weakened under the presidency of Donald Trump. The consequences of the close relationship between the US and Russia has been a factor in this matter, as this relation has sparked quite a negative reputation and their actions haven't suggested otherwise. With Russia invading a part of Ukraine who has incredible relations with Australia and recognise Australia as one of their leading trade partners, it leaves Australia in quite a volatile environment. An unpredictable America can pose new dilemmas for other countries whose policies are based on guesswork about how the Trump White House may behave. As a result, uncertainty that begins in the Oval Office spreads around the world, creating waves of instability about the future of business opportunities and trade investment in the US. But with Thailand, without progression in reforming the constitution and minimising the power of the military, Coups will continue to happen and the rich will stay rich, leaving government interference with foreign companies to keep going. Thank you for watching and the following slides will be my references.